Okay, so it's finished here in the Viva Fan Studio and indeed in the Aviva Stadium, the Republic of Ireland, nil, Wales, nil. So we get the point, but we didn't get the three points quite, uh, I wouldn't say an entertainment game, but plenty of talking points as well. We got the injury to, to Seamus. They were reduced to 10 men, but apart from that, not a huge amount went on out there. No, first half I thought we were disappointing really. Second half we were up a little bit, stifled them a little bit more. They never really got into the groove they did in the first half. I haven't said that, didn't think they created a hell of a lot in the first half. Um, but then when we did go down, when, sorry, when Wales did go down to 10, then I felt there was a bit of an opportunity there that we could have capitalised on more. So a little bit disappointed with that. But overall, I said before, I know we're happy with the point. I'm, I'm still quite happy with it. Yeah, we're definitely happy with the points there. Three main rivals, of course, Serbia, Austria and Wales. We're unbeaten against those three, but uh, we just didn't really get our third gear tonight, did we? No, we never really got going, Bernard. And we spoke beforehand about being on the front foot, taking the game to them. We're at home, big crowd, there was a big buzz before the match. But we never really got going, yeah. As Keith said, in the second half it was a little bit better. Then obviously the man was sent off and we then we were kind of in the ascendancy, but never really created any clear-cut chances. There was a lot of crosses into the box. To be fair to them, they got plenty of men in around the middle of the area and de defended that quite well. Um, but yeah, overall, I suppose, looking back on it, the amount of injuries that we had coming into the game to key players as well. I think the lads who came in and, fi and filled, it, filled the spaces for those players, I don't think they've done quite well. O'Shea and Q at the back, uh, wheeling, you couldn't really fault anyone's efforts, which you never could in fairness to any of them. But we just lacked that bit of creativity. I thought when McGeady came on, he livened up a little bit, but it was probably a little bit too late bringing him on. I would have liked to see him maybe not 10, 15 minutes earlier. But overall, as Keith said, a point, you'd, you would be happy with that. And we're still sitting top of the group in a good position. Of course, one thing that has everybody talking this evening is, of course, the, the nasty injury left on oxygen, mm -hmm. Seamus Cohen. We lose our captain in the red card. What do you make of, of the incident? Um, very hard to see from where we were, obviously, first off. But replays are, are terrible, really, really terrible. The both players have gone in very strong. The timing, obviously, is way off from, from Taylor. But you could tell by the, the reaction here in the box. It was sickening. Um, and he's going to be a huge, huge miss. I think we've seen Christie come in. No one near the level that Seamus is. Seamus is a top four Premier League player in terms of the top four teams. He's going to be a huge miss for us. Okay, we wish, wish Seamus, of course, uh, the best and hopefully he gets a, a speedy recovery. Take us through these lads, I suppose, the, the three talking points. First up, uh, Keith, the lack of adventure. Yeah, just basically when we we did have that advantage, 70 minutes or so, and when unfortunately that happened to Seamus, just feel there was a real you know change in momentum in the game. There was an opportunity for us to maybe make a substitution or two. I thought... Myler had done a steady job in midfield, but I, I thought that substitution could have been made early. You look at Hogan as well, possibly coming on. Even um, O'Dowd, you know, bright winger, try and inject a little bit of energy, a bit of creativity. As I'm going to say, we, we did lack that. And um, we didn't really create too much in the last 10 minutes, so that would be the, the disappointing part for me. We didn't create a whole lot. One man that was hyped free kick off, Bales, brilliant. Yeah, even just adding to that point as well, we're sorry to go back to it, but did we miss a trick not starting McGeady? You know, he was the one player bar not having a Wesley that might have created mm -hmm. something for us. And when you look back how poor, I know it's easy in hindsight, but when you how think, think how poor we were in that midfield area in the first half, I think it was a knife for him, I really do. And, and he looked very bright when he came on. He's obviously in a player, uh, plays, Keith obviously played with him, knows him very well, plays on confidence, and he's a very confident boy at the moment, playing very well at Preston. I think it was a knife for him. But anyway, it's, it's over and done with now. In terms of Bale, yeah, um, moments of magic from him. The, the pass in the first half is unbelievable. No other player in the pitch is going to do that the run in the second half as well. Some people were suggesting he was lucky to stay on the pitch, but I felt he was, it looks bad on telly, but in fairness to him, I think he's actually trying to go for the ball. You'd be disappointed as a centre forward if you're not attacking that. He does catch John O'Shea, so it looks bad, but um, the run and the effort at the end, it was good to see him, but we kept him quiet. I thought I the thought boys in fairness really, done well, really yeah. well in terms of containing him. I think that was a huge part of maybe why we didn't excel in an attacking fashion. So we were so cautious, so wary of him, and I don't blame the players and the manager for doing that. But you could just see from those two, three moments, that's all it takes for mm. him. I thought in those two or three occasions, he showed how class of a player he is. Of course, we have spoken about, about Seamus and we wish him well. Just uh, bring us across here, lads, because we have to, to crown the man of the match. Yep. And what was your, your take on that? I think uh, unanimously, it was a bit of a well, not question exactly mark. Yeah, well, not exactly too sure. I think it, if ever there was a team type performance, you know, you've, I think John O'Shea got it on the, on the box. McLean, in terms of his energy and his endeavour, sticking a few tackles. And he was the really the one in the first half. But it was more solid in terms of all around decent, solid performance rather than an outstanding performance individually. 
It all feels a little bit hollow here. We got the point, um, and it keeps us uh, top of the group. But just to, to lift us a bit, I'm delighted to say we're joined by uh, by Ronnie Whelan. Ronnie, the, the lads here, <laughs> a little bit sombre, but uh, I don't want to put pressure on you, but the pressure is all on you now to uh, to inject a bit of uh, energy into this. It was a decent point, was it? No, you know, look, a point is great. You know, we, we, the, lads were, the lads were saying at the start of the game, you know, a point would be would be very good for us. And uh, it is, you know, we, you know we look, 11 <laughs> points in that group. <laughs> You know, we, we've been in worse positions, and, we, and we've, got to we've got to the big competitions before, so we're in a very good spot. I mean, and look, it's, it's very unfortunate about Seamus Coleman. He's one of the top, he's a, he is, he's a top four, he's a top four player. But, you know, it's, it is, it is about, you know, it was a point, it was a point earned. Three points would have been fantastic, you know, we should have grabbed the game, you know, McGeady came on, he, you thought he would have, you know, a little bit of Celtic spark from him back in 2006, but we didn't see it, but, you know. Um, Eamon Dunphy. Your, uh, your initial reaction to that, we're, we're top of the group. Happy days. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's players like Wes Houlihan. Should, if Wes Houlihan was playing, he creates the shape for the team. We all know that. And Alan, <laughs> Alan Carley will agree with me over there, my, my young protege. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. Um, so, you know, I, I think that, the, you know, it's, we're in a very good position, as Ronnie said. You know, very good position. Massive game watched all around Europe. I'm sure it was watched in the in the White House as well. Donald Trump, uh, your your reaction to do you even understand what was going on out there? I I kind of did. You know what? I I, I you know in a, in a soccer game I expect a lot of goals. <laughs> I gotta say that James McLean guy is very good. Great player. <laughs> great guy. You know I think he's he's great. <laughs> I didn't like Cyrus. I didn't like the Cyrus Christie guy. He came out. He didn't play too well. I'm gonna be honest about it. He, you know he just didn't play well. I'm sorry. Wasn't very good. His crosses were very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I w look. The whole thing is we want to make we want to make the MLS the best league in the world. <laughs> I mean China, China. Are talking about China. Are talking about bringing Wayne Rooney over? How about Wayne Rooney goes and plays for LA Galaxy or something like that? We've got Bastian Schweinsteiger <laughs> coming to Chicago Fire. It's going to be a great league. We, we, we've got Pirlo. What a great guy. I have to invite him to the White House. He's a tremendous guy. We're gonna we're gonna drink red wine, <laughs> eat European kind of cheese. He's ga he's gonna culture me a little bit because I, I need that. You know, too many burgers, too many steaks. Ever tried a Trump steaks? They're fantastic. I'm going off topic here, aren't I? If there's any man who can send us out on an era of positivity, let's hand it over to uh, to play us out for now to uh, Conor McGregor. So look, it is what it is. I mean, uh, here <laughs> we we push on a point. Here it's better. It's better than a loss. Now, if I was out there, I would have went for the win. <laughs> I go for the win. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and it's easy work. It's, it's handy work for me. So, I mean, we push on, people. Come on, you boys in green. 